welcome back to another episode of Warren Cali. In this episode, I'm going to detail the story of actor Terrence Howard. Terrence was born in Chicago, Illinois on March 11, 1969. Terrence and his family would later move to Cleveland, Ohio, and he spent much of his childhood there. Terrence and his siblings had a rough upbringing. His father was abusive and used to beat Terrence and his siblings. He used to take all his frustrations out on his kids, and even young Terrence would witness his dad kill a man. Terrence's father, Tyrone, was involved in a highly publicized case known as the Santa Line Slaying. On December 21st, 1971, Tyrone took his wife and his three kids, including Terrence, to see Santa at a local department store. But this would lead to an altercation between Tyrone and another man, and leading to Tyrone killing the man and later being arrested that same day. Tyrone would receive manslaughter and received an 11 year prison sentence. Terrence's mother and father were later divorced and he would be raised by his mother into his teenage years. Terrence would later move to LA and live with his great grandmother. Terrence's great grandmother was Minnie Gentry, a Broadway actress, and she acted in several movies. Some of her most known movies she acted in was Black Caesar, Claudine, and she even acted in The Cosby Show. Moving to LA would be a different world, and Terrence fell victim to the LA lifestyle and what was going on in the 80s and the 90s. He would become part of the Mansfield Gangsta Crips. The Mansfield Gangsta Crips are a gang from West LA, and becoming a Mansfield, Terrence just wanted to be a part of something and be protected. But with Terrence not really being ready for the streets, this would get him in trouble with his own gang. One of Terrence's big homies from Mansfield, from Terrence's own words, was out to kill another gang member from Schoolyard Crip. Terrence broke gang rules and told his rival that his big homie was going to kill him. This got Terrence beat by his own gang for the betrayal of his gang and giving enemies the drop of what was going to happen. But doing this same thing will be the same thing to save Terrence's life. A few days later, Terrence will be walking when a car pulled up with four schoolyard crips inside the car and they got out and ran up on Terrence. They pulled out three guns and put them to Terrence's head and was going to kill him. But lucky for his sake, the same boy he saved days prior was there to save him. This will forever change Terrence and also his mindset. Knowing he could be killed just like that made him decide to change his life around. Terrence would take up acting based off his grandmother being a big influence. This will lead to him getting his first role on All My Children for a few episodes in 1992. That same year, he would play Jackie Jackson in TV film, The Jackson American Dream, detailing the rise of the Jackson family. This will help take Terrence's career to new heights and making him gain way more roles from 1993 to 1996. Terrence would act in numerous roles from movies like Sunset Park, Dead Presidents, and shows like Family Matters, Living Single, New York Undercover, Coach, and even starred in a few seasons of a show called Sparks. By the end of the 90s, Terrence would act in movies like Players Club and a successful role in a movie called The Best Man. His role in that movie got him nominated for several awards for his performance in the movie. The 2000s will be a huge success for Terrence. He rarely acted in TV shows during this time period, but he appeared in several movies, some being Big Mama House, Hearts War, Biker Boys, and in 2004, he acted in Crash. His performance gained him several nominations. This will lead to three straight movies, where Terrence will be acknowledged for his great acting performances. He will be nominated for all three movies, and the movies were Ray, the biopic of artist Ray Charles, a movie called The Salon, and one of his most known movies a movie called Hustle and Flow. In the movie, Terrence plays a pimp who's done with that lifestyle and sets out to be a rapper, but he has a lot of drama and trials and tribulations on the way. The rest of the 2000s, Terrence would act in over 10 other movies, with some of his best performances coming from movies like Four Brothers, Get Rich or Die Trying with 50 Cent, Pride, Iron Man, and Fighting with Channing Tatum. He would even record an album called Shine Through It. In the 2010s, Terrence would stay active with over 15 roles to his name, appearing in shows like Law & Order, Hawaii Five-0, and movies like Winnie Mandela, which he played Nelson Mandela, Winnie Mandela's husband. Also another movie called Red Tails, a movie called Movie 43, The Butler. Terrence will also reprise his role in the sequel to Best Man, called The Best Man Holiday. This was done 15 years after the original. 2015, Terrence gained his biggest role in the 2010s, playing Lucius Lyons, a rap mogul alongside his wife in the show, Taraji P. Henson. In the show, they ran a label and had many ups and downs while doing it. This show lasted six seasons and was a huge success. Terrence would do a few more movies along the years and was even a part of a TV special of The Best Man called The Final Chapters. 
Terrence came a long way from a life of chaos and uncertainty to becoming a star and making his life dreams come true. This will conclude this episode. If you haven't already, make sure you check out my previous episodes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.